Hey, good morning, everybody. Norm Thacker again. Uh, one thing I wanted to start out with uh, today is I was thinking last night I need to come up with a better name for the YouTube channel than just uh, just my name. Uh, so I came up with help from a friend, uh, Normal Running TV. So kind of a play on uh, the word normal and get to include my name in it. So capital N-O-R-M, lowercase A-L, and then Running TV. So that's my channel, so uh, pretty excited about that and to actually have a name for it. So um, that's that. Um, so I posted my first video yesterday, uh, the second one I'm going to do. Uh, today I'm actually doing a uh, uh, what they call a tempo run. And I know I mentioned yesterday that this is my running Bible, run less, run faster. I use this thing all the time. Again, you can actually download an app from the... Uh, Apple Store, I think it's a buck or two. Um, I normally don't buy apps, but this is one that I do or did buy. Um, and it uh, obviously you can track it on your phone, um, but it just kind of helps helps keep you in line uh, for those that like using uh, different apps for things. But there's a lot of old school people out there that just like writing stuff down, and that's cool too. So, um, but today, uh, if you read through it, um, I basically just run three times a week. I don't. Uh, I'm not like a lot of runners out there that just just pour on, you know, tons and tons of miles each and every day. Um, my body just won't allow it. My asthma won't allow it. And um, I got other things I got to do anyway. So um, I'm going to be averaging somewhere between 30 to on some of the bigger long runs, you know, in the lower 40 mile per week range right now. I'm not even close to that. Um, so I'll be working myself up to that right now. I'm probably hitting around uh, low 20s, mid 20s in terms of miles per week uh, right now with the free run. So that's where I'm at. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention, uh, I know I said yesterday that I'm training for uh, Blue Ridge Marathon. I wanted to show you the, uh, it's kind of a unique medal that they give all the finishers at the end. So this is the one for the full. And uh, this is actually a belt buckle, uh, which, which is kind of neat. You look at the back, you can see the, the clip on the back. Although I have not done it, I kept the... Uh, uh, the ribbon on it, uh, but it's kind of kind of unique. One of the most unique uh, race medals I've ever uh, earned. And then if you look on the back, I don't know if it'll show up there or not, but you can kind of see. Uh, yeah, I think you can. That does show up there. Um, shows you the total elevation uh, for uh, the race. So uh, the one that I did was on April 22nd of last year, 2017. So yeah, 7,430 feet of elevation change pretty challenging so I'm gonna do that race twice I'm a fool uh, but um, so I'll start it at 1 o'clock in the morning and I cannot finish it before 6 a.m. and then the main race goes off at 7 so I'll have about an hour uh, in there that I can eat some pizza or donuts or whatever I can get in my mouth put some calories back in my system um, change all my clothes everything from socks and shoes to shirt shorts, everything else. So um, I'll have about an hour there to for a little bit of uh, downtime before I have to start the second one. So um, that's that's what I'm doing. Uh, yesterday I did um, kind of some pseudo speed work. I went out and ran uh, four miles at an 817 pace. Um, I can go a little bit faster than that, but I didn't push it for whatever reason yesterday. So I did an 809, 807, 822, and 829 minute pace. Uh, for my four miles so i got a little bit slower as i uh, went along there but um still overall 817 pace for four miles of speed work for where i'm at right now is not bad um today again i'm using this as my bible and basically i'm doing a tempo run <clears throat> and tempo run is going to be slightly slower than the 5k pace um, that this book bases it off of um, so today i'm going to be around 815 uh, pace uh, for the entire run. I'm running about five and a half miles, but it's like anything else. You want to do a, a easy warm up at the beginning and a cool down at the end, and then have your tempo in the middle. And that's what I'm going to do today. So my first two miles are going to be easy. Easy for me is around you know a nine minute pace, nine ten pace, something like that. So I'll do the first two miles at that pace, and then the uh, middle uh, three miles I'm going to run it. Um, at my tempo, so I'll kick it up to about an eight fifteen minute mile pace for three miles, and then I'll have about a it's not even a one mile cool down, about a half mile cool down after that, where I'll run, you know, a nine or 10 minute pace, something like that. So it's like anything else, you know, uh, you'll go to a lot of races and you'll see, especially the elite runners run a mile or two 
uh, even before a full marathon. And you might look at them like, man, they're really crazy, but they're not. I mean, you think of anything, for example, um, I don't know, baseball players. You know, you don't see a baseball player coming off the bench and going straight into the batter's box. He's going to stop at the, uh, at the um, batter circle there and warm up, you know, put a, one of those uh, weights on their bats and swing it around and loosen up their shoulders and their forearms and that sort of thing before they step in the batter's box. So it's like that with all sorts of sports. There's going to be some sort of warm-ups. I mean, you see football players go out hours in advance to get some running in, to catch balls, that sort of thing. So you want to warm up. Um, the muscles, obviously, and, and the mind. You've got to get all that um, uh, uh, engaged there. So um, that's basically what I'm looking at today. Um, again, I'll go through some the gear. Uh, very important to have a good watch, a timing watch. So I've got my Garmin that I'll have with me. Unfortunately, like I said yesterday, I've got asthma, so I've already taken a couple puffs of that. So I've got my flip belt that I always carry with me today. So I'm running kind of a different course. I'm going to uh, carry my phone with me, which I rarely do, but I will today. Um, I always hit the lips again with uh, my Burt's Bees. Love that stuff. Um, and some friction defense. So um, just uh, pay attention if you do, especially for the new runners out there, if you start to feel like you're getting um, some blisters and some rubs in places that you're normally not accustomed to, make sure you start hitting that with some sort of friction defense. So there's a lot of different ones out there. I prefer the Gold Bond. Um, doesn't seem to be as greasy and works just as well. A lot of people like the Body Glide as well, and you can get that at any uh, running um, outfit. You can get them at all the box stores, Omega Sports, Dick Sporting Goods, uh, things of that, Fleet Feet, things of that sort. So um, and then the other thing I didn't mention yesterday, um, I told you I like these Belega socks a lot. Again, it's got padding in both the toe and the heel. And one thing I did not mention, this is where I always had uh, blisters, was on um, my ankle. Um, and you can kind of see this has like a thick little back lip to it like that. So that'll uh, kind of pad where the back of your shoe comes up on your ankle there. So you, that'll, that for me, it eliminated any blisters. Um, that you uh, uh, get back there. So that's kind of what I'm looking at today. And again, I um, just wanted to say uh, uh, Normal Running TV is uh, the channel name. So looking forward to uh, seeing how that goes. And I'm actually uh, dropping a uh, vehicle off today at 55 Auto Works. So uh, the owner of that here in Holly Springs is a big time runner. He wins a lot of the uh, races around here. He's a, a, uh, an endurance runner. So look forward to talking to him uh, this morning when I drop my car off. And then I'm running from there um, basically back uh, to my apartment. So um, anyway, that's kind of what we're looking at today. And I hope everybody has a great day. Look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.